Alright, this is like a remix. This is going to be a simple turns where I have the Killer Necro program on. If you don't know what it is, it's like this. Um, it's part of your direct connection driver if you're having like MSI, like for example, Z87 gaming motherboard. And it's built into the LAN driver. And basically, the reason I'm uh, making this video is that Malwarebytes, when they went from uh, 1.75 to 2.0, they changed their real protection which is basically right here <clears throat> and when uh, they changed it blue screening started happening to me BIOS with Deadpool header and turned out we did support since 2014 till today found out it was malware bite uh, malware, sorry correct myself the killer network called Bigfoot file and basically it's the bandwidth control of the killer network program which is also right here you can enable like the bandwidth and stuff like that. There's also other settings here, and the network adapter where you can go to your LAN driver. And this is also the way they sub, uh, Malwarebytes supposedly bypasses it. You can uncheck the bandwidth control and apply for it. It's supposed to <clears throat> stop the bandwidth. Also, there's a start menu, but neither of those worked. I still got blue screen, and there hasn't been a fixed Malwarebytes because of the bypass supposedly supposed to work. But as for me, it did it. So I sit there for a year and a half and try to figure out how to stop this. So in the meantime, I couldn't have the real protection. But there's an actually simple A, and I didn't understand how to do it until now. What I'm going to show you is how to um, mainly install the driver of your motherboard's LAN driver without the Killer Necro program. As of right now, we have the Killer Performance. It might be called Quantum. This is like the new version. So it, it's... It's kind of a little bit different, but it should, it'll say Quantum Killer or Killer Network, wherever it is. Before you uninstall this, there's two things you're gonna need. You're gonna need the you're gonna need the driver only file, which is on your MSI or whatever brand website. And also, keep the original um, driver you have currently right now. So. If you have, a, you have a copy of like a disk or a file of your LAN driver that knows that works, keep that as a backup just in case this doesn't work. Because if this doesn't work, obviously you're not going to have internet. You need your old driver. So if you have the disk, great, then you don't have to worry. Um, if you have the USB stick of like the file of your LAN driver, good. Keep that separate. But let's say you don't, then look up your brand. Mine's the Z87. And... You're going to want to download your LAN driver. This is with the killer network. Obviously, it's going to continue the blue screen. But um, once you save that and keep that stored somewhere else, um, then you can proceed to this, which is it's the same driver, <clears throat> but without the killer network program that has the bandwidth control, which will say here driver only. See so the two identical, just this one has it. See, this is for killer LAN boards without the killer network management, basically without this program. So, we're going to do this step. Once you download this file and this file, which I'll show you what it looks like right now, this is what it looks like without the Killer Echo program. It's a compressed folder, and um, I'll show you how you're going to have to extract it later on. But also, if you didn't download your LAN, the actual Kill Network one, which is right here, download that and keep that like on a USB stick or somewhere in the hard drive just in case this doesn't work. So, once you install both of these, like I'm going to install correctly, download them. Um, you can close this out, and the next step we're going to have to do is obviously we're going to uninstall the Kill Necro program. When you do this, you will lose your direct connection driver to the Ethernet, just to forewarn you. So make sure, again, I'm going to stress this little, like, like crazy enough, is make sure you have a backup LAN driver that you know works. So, do and say. Now I'm going to install it. So when I install it, it's going to ask me to start the computer. So I'm probably going to have to make a second portion of it or edit it and like, cut the scene. So now you look for the program. It'll be Quantum Killer or Killer Performance Suit. That's the newest one. So this is what's going to be for the newest one as of February 10th of 2016. I know it used to be, I think it read and it said Quantum Killer. or was like gray and Quantum Killer with a Q. Um, it all depends which version you have. But once you find it, uninstall it. It will take a few minutes, and it will ask you to restart your computer. You have to restart your computer because that's how, how it fully takes it off. You can't get to the next step without it. Well, you could, but it might just screw up. <laughs> 
So, once you perform that, this icon's going to disappear. Again, once it finishes, restart the computer right away. The quicker the better. Less chances of like it screwing up. I usually say that to all drivers in general. Some people don't like it because it takes forever to restart your computer, but uh, it's worth it in the end instead of having issues. Click finish. Do I want to start it? Okay, I'm going to cut this uh, scene, and I'll see you back in the next video how to install it. This was basically to show how to uninstall the program. Now I'm going to show you to install it. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. And welcome back. Now we restarted the computer, which I'll show you. You can see it's disappeared on the desktop. But I'll just show you further that the killer network's completely gone. Is you don't see it anywhere here in your control panel. And also how to advanced search it uh, in terms. You go to the management here. You right click the desk uh, computers. And you click manage. It will take a few minutes, depending on how fast your computer to pull up. And you go device manage, and you're going to see your Ethernet driver is not connected, which basically you have no internet access unless you have like a wireless connection. Um, so now I am going to show you the step to install your LAN driver without the Kill and Network program, so you don't have that bandwidth control which causes malware bytes in it to derp and blue screen your computer and blame Deadpool header. <laughs> so, actually it's the same way you're getting on here basically. You want to make sure is, I didn't, I gotta explain it earlier, you want to go to your downloads folder. Your folder is going to be probably going to compress right now. Just like, imagine this wasn't here. And you're going to right click this folder and you click extract. And it's going to ask you a location. Just put in your download and then plus extract, which I already did. And that's what it turns into this. This is, again, this is the file that only has the driver only. And how you know the difference between the two is basically it has all these files, or at least mine does, without any launch icons, but you can't launch it. Um, the actual Kill and Network program, the one I said to keep safe just in case, um, it would kind of look like this with the launch setup icon. That's with the Kill and Network program. But we don't want that. We want the one with the driver only. So once you take that and you extract it, you'll turn to this folder. Great. How do you do with it? That's why I got messed up. Was like, wait, how do you install this? Because there's no launch icon. All right. Well, I searched up and I actually saw like a somewhat sort of like a picture image kind of thing. So I'm just going to show you exactly what they did. So we're going to click on the start menu and we're going to right click computers, not left, but right click, click manage. And you're going to go to your device manage. Again, depending on the computer, it might take a few minutes to open up, a few seconds like me. And what you can do is you're going to notice your LAN driver, Ethernet, is not installed. It'll pop up a little, like, exclamation point. And what you're going to do is you're going to right-click it. And it's going to say update driver software. Uh, you're going to click that. And then there's two options, search automatic for driver. Obviously, it's not going to work because you're not connected to it to search it. Well, obviously, we're going to choose this one. Browse my computer for the driver software, which means it's going to mainly take the file. So, set the folder wherever it is. <clears throat> if it's in your downloads, uh, wherever you put it, the actual driver file, not the one with the killer network, but without the killer network. The one I showed you with all the files that doesn't have a launch. So, once you set that, make sure that's included subfolders checked, just in case. And then you're going to click Next. And that is it. You have successfully installed your LAN driver without the Kill and Network program. Which is going to show right here. Bam. Now it's not there anymore, which is actually just going to say, it's going to still say Killer E2220 uh, gigabyte, at least for me. But there's no actual program, the Kill and Network program with the bandwidth control, as you can see. So now you have your LAN driver without the Kill and Network program, which so far for the past week and I think so many days, um, not once has it blue screened. Not even once. So 
for me, this was a solve situation for me. I hopefully malware bites. <laughs> it's been a year and a half now, but hopefully they make a fix with the bandwidth control so it doesn't trigger anymore for people that don't know how to do this. But this is a way I figured how to install the LAN driver um, without the Kill and Echo program, which has that bandwidth can cause malware bites and them to fight over and crash the computer. Well, I hopefully you enjoyed this video. If this helps you, there you go, man. If it doesn't, I'm very sorry. Just make sure I said stretched your in the beginning of the first video to um, keep that LAN driver that does work for you. <clears throat> if you didn't have it, obviously make sure it's the right motherboard model. Search it, download it, like I said earlier. Or if you have the disc or USB that you already have already, then you're basically set. You just have to go back and install that, and you're just going to have to deal with the blue screen, basically uh, disable your malware bytes protection to bypass that. Again, sorry for that. But um, but this is what I found that solved my issue. All right, you all take care.